The major source of caffeine is coffee bean, which are the seeds of the plant Coffea arabica. Caffeine is one of the most widely used drugs in the world. In the United States, it is estimated that 80 to 90% of adults drink caffeinated drinks. This totals to 200 to 400 milligrams per day. Caffeine works by blocking a substance called adenosine. Adenosine makes up the energy containing compound adenosine triphosphate, which is also known as ATP. The body breaks down ATP to obtain energy and in the process releases the adenosine molecule. Adenosine can then be released into the brain where it can act on several different types of specific adenosine receptors in the nerve cell membranes. When the adenosine binds to these receptors, by doing so it slows down the brain activity and can make you feel sluggish and tired. The level of adenosine increases throughout the day and hence is the reason why you feel more tired and sleepy towards the end. Caffeine can prevent this by outcompeting adenosine for its receptor site. Caffeine can then bind to the receptor site as it has a similar shape to that of adenosine but not the exact as it cannot activate the adenosine receptor. By doing so, caffeine can act as a stimulant and gives us the boost we crave when we drink coffee. When consuming caffeine, we tend to feel more happy as well as alert. This is because the neurotransmitter dopamine, which can affect the mood, increases its effect when having caffeine. The receptor site of dopamine is coupled with adenosine. Adenosine binds to its receptor and in doing so, it makes it difficult for dopamine to bind to its own. This changes when caffeine is involved as it blocks the adenosine receptor, therefore allowing dopamine to bind much more easily to its own receptor. The effects of caffeine on adenosine and dopamine have said to have given long-term benefits benefits and is associated with reducing the risk of diseases such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Consuming coffee on a daily basis can develop a tolerance for caffeine as the brain responds to the intake of caffeine by increasing adenosine receptors, so more caffeine is needed to produce the same response. This brain response also means that you can experience withdrawal symptoms and experience a mood crash, making you feel extremely tired and lethargic when missing your caffeine dose. Like most drugs, caffeine can have negative side effects. It can increase your blood pressure as well as your heart rate. It can also contribute to insomnia as well as anxiety. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.